Hello, my name is Bruce Wilson. I am Public Affairs Manager at the Scottish Wildlife Trust. Very quickly, here's a wee picture of me so you know who's talking, um, but I'm really sorry we can't be face to face in the current circumstances. Um, I'm just going to quickly highlight what nature-based solutions are and then focus on a few important policy areas as my time's really short today. Land use in the climate and biodiversity emergency. How we use our land has a colossal impact on both our climate and on biodiversity. Nicola Sturgeon and the Scottish Government have made it clear that they want Scotland to tackle nature and the climate crisis holistically. The Scottish Wildlife Trust want to see joined up approaches to tackling these interlinked problems. Uh, the picture here is a good example of that, a sustainable urban drainage system with specific biodiversity enhancements built in. And that's taken on one of our reserves in Cumbernauld. Nature based solutions used across our land and seas provide the opportunity to tackle climate and biodiversity issues holistically and in a joined up manner. The green roof in this picture here and uh, it's in Larbor, it helps reduce flooding in the town, but also regulate the building heat as well as providing habitat for wildlife and additional mental health benefits for staff and pupils. Nature based solutions are actions that manage or restore nature in order to address pressing societal problems like climate change and health, whilst also providing other multiple benefits. Peatlands, such as the one in the picture, if properly restored to be ecologically functional, not only help lock up carbon and regulate water flow, they also provide essential habitat for wildlife, places for recreation, and they play a major role in Scotland's cultural identity. It's been estimated that around 40% of near-term climate mitigation could be achieved through protection, improved management and restoration of our ecosystems. Creating a requirement for the establishment of a Scottish nature network in both the forthcoming National Planning Framework 4 and Scottish Biodiversity Strategy could be really important to rebuilding ecosystems. This Scottish nature network would help provide a tool to help us strategically plan for nature and highlight in the landscape where the best areas to put nature based solutions would be um, and where they provide the most benefit for climate, people and biodiversity. The picture here is of a beaver dam in Tayside. Beavers help create little micro pools in the landscape, reducing the cumulative impact of flooding further downstream. Delivering nature based solutions in the land use sector would require action at multiple levels but deliver huge benefits. The UK Committee on Climate Change's recommendations to the Scottish Government, which were delivered last year, clearly call for the development of a new rural support scheme that builds towards delivering Scotland's climate goals. Clarity on the future direction of agricultural support is urgently needed from the Scottish Government. The Scottish Wildlife Trust wants to see agricultural policy that facilitates and rewards nature and climate friendly farming and allows us to deliver nature-based solutions for everyone. Farmers must be rewarded for the nature-based solutions they can supply, such as locking up carbon, managing water, and providing habitat for biodiversity. Concentrating purely on carbon sequestration could be a huge missed opportunity for Scotland and our land management sector. Previously, we used to value land based on the commodities it produced, like grain, timber, or cattle. However, we now understand um, far better the important nature-based solutions that our land can provide and does provide in many cases. We need land management policy and subsidy from government that reflects this and helps farmers to produce environmental goods and services as well as food. Without this change in direction, it will be very hard to meet our climate change objectives. Woodlands are also hugely important and are essential to delivering nature-based solutions uh, in many parts of Scotland. Concentrating purely again on carbon sequestration with woodlands would be a mistake um, and could lead us to situations where we don't realise the full potential benefits we could deliver in Scotland and further afield. Um, the Scottish Wildlife Trust are calling for significant expansion of Scotland's native woodlands annually um, based on the number of benefits they can provide. Um, and to ensure that all woodland delivers for nature, it's really important that all new planting is cited appropriately and uh, as a kind of minimum, um, we'd see about 50% of new planting. Uh, we want to see that of native tree species, uh, and this could include productive species as well. 
both woodland policy and agricultural policy need to be far more joined up and the Scottish Government must use the opportunity of the Rural Land Use Partnerships and the Land Use Strategy to help make more joined up decisions and help us deliver on our cli climate and biodiversity targets. This approach, which engages local communities, can help us realise the massive potential for nature-based solutions, not only for climate, but for a whole host of other issues that we urgently need to address.